Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the volatility trader package. I'm going to be running two examples to help you navigate through the package. And what the wrappers return are the PLs for different strategies using options. So you can extract the data and the PLs, and it will return some nice PL plots. There's currently three different packages one for volatility trades, one for bearish trades, and the other is for bullish trades, each with their own functions. Here you can see a couple of strategies that you can plot and there's quite a few for each of the packages. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the scripts so you can check out the documentation for each of these packages. And for each of these different wrappers, all we have to insert are the strikes, the premiums and the underlying price. So let's go ahead and run through two examples to give you an overview. All right, so here in our script, the first thing we need to require is the volatility trader package. And we're first gonna take a look at the straddle PL. Now for this particular wrapper, you would just have to assign these variables that'll get passed into this function, which will return a list. But if you run that through the console, you'll get the plot. And if you want to extract the PNL, that will get saved in data. So here's our PNL plot for the straddle strategy. And the values displayed on the bars are the PNL of one share, according to the package. So here we can visually see our break even points, and it's easy to navigate through the chart. For the second example, I'm going to use the strap PNL wrapper. So again, here we have to assign the underlying price, the strike, the premiums paid for each of the calls, along with the put premium, and these are all using the same strike. Now the upper and lower limits are the percentages to be used on the graph. So I set these to 0.70 or 30% below our current price, and also 30% above. Once you assign these variables, they'll get passed into this function where we can see the actual plot. So I'll go ahead and maximize this plot. If you maximize the plot, the numbers are easier to read. And if we take a look at the extracted values, we can see our PNLs depending on the level of the underlying price. And the last column returns a Boolean of whether it's profitable or not. So in summary, all these wrappers use a slight variance in the variables used. But for the most part, you will need to use the strike prices, the premiums, and the underlying spot price. And I would definitely recommend this package if you want to return some nice visuals for the different strategies. But with that guys, this concludes the video. I hope this was useful information. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.